the Laughing Historically. I'm Brandon, so I'm joined by Michelle and Lorraine of Girlside and the People's Improv Theater. This week we're going to talk about cave painting. The most famous and most complex of all cave paintings are found on September 12, 1940 in uh, Lascaux, France by four teen teenagers and their dogs. And that's all they ever really tell you. It was found by four kids and their dog. They're like, what's the story? Where's the Disney movie? What Goonies. Goonies. <laughs> exactly. Marcel, Georges, Simon, and Jacques. They're two Aww. really French names. Yeah. <laughs> and the dog's name was Robot. Yes, which is awesome, which is the name of my dog. I wonder if the dog smoked. Ooh, oh, he had to really? smoke. <laughs> 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 He was, he was a French dog. He had a little gray. He was constantly that's, holding a that's tiny That's not stereotypical in any way. I think that that's probably right on the money. They were rabbit hunting and or treasure hunting. Treasure <laughs> hunting? They didn't have the story straight. No. It really is Goonies. <laughs> Robot the dog, he went down a bottomless hole okay. after a hair. So it's Alice in Wonderland. Alice in Wonderland. Mm -hmm. They grabbed the dog before he, he jumped in, but they're like, wow, that hole's bottomless. How can they tell? Well, like, man, oh, man, that hole looks like it goes far. I don't okay. Know. <laughs> <laughs> so they're like, we're, to, we're gonna come back here tomorrow uh, with some lanterns. Come back with the lanterns, and they go down in the cave, and like a hundred yards down, they find that it's just covered in paintings. Bulls, of horses, deer. There's one person in like the entire cave, but it has like a bird's head. <laughs> the cave paintings are dated between like 18 and 15,000 to BC to wow. 13 to 10,000 BC. The Great Pyramid was 2560 BC, so this is way before the pyramids. Wow. I was like, oh, maybe that's one where they're like deities. This like oh, bird-headed. Sure. Bird-headed person. <laughs> so they didn't have Christ. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> they had this bird guy. <laughs> and the most magnificent hall, it, they, they call them halls, the different caves. Yeah. It's just covered in bulls, bulls in all directions. Um, the scientists think that this was like passed down through generations. All the paints are dated different times. There's no way we can really know why these were being painted, why they did this, um, but they were definitely coming back for thousands of years to this one spot in painting. Oh, if this were an adventure movie, it would all get explained at the end. <laughs> oh, why is it a movie? But I do like the idea where it's like, guys, let's just have a serious conversation about these cave paintings. They're like, no! <laughs> we can't! There's no way to tell. And then two days later, the French website for the Lasco paintings say, uh, says that the, the children were swept up in historical circumstances of a tragic nature. What it was, was the Nazis invaded France. Oh! oh. See, I told you, World War II! Oh Damn! So, George and Simon, their, their parents were like, we're getting out of here. The less French yeah. sounding name. Marcel and Jacques <laughs> spend the, the rest of the war, like, standing outside the cave, like, guarding it from the Nazis. I don't know, they're standing there with like shovels or something. Like, I guess they're Nazis. <laughs> these kids are awesome. They actually, they actually fight the Nazis. In the movie we, we that I'm making them. in my head, they absolutely fight Nazis. Marcel and Jacques, this, the Nazis. The Nazis. That's what I want to see. I want to see what happens when the Nazi approaches, how these kids handle that. Well, honestly, the kids might <laughs> thought were so special, but the Nazis were like, we have no use for that. <laughs> yeah, but like, why are you, we're just gonna pee here. Yeah, wait, what happened That's to the dog? No, no one knows what happened to the robot. I assume he helped fight Nazis. <laughs> he died in the Nazi invasion. Oh, no. He was a freedom That's so fighter. Sad. That would be like the saddest part of the movie when they're just holding robot. And they're like, no, robots, leave. Leave. In 1948, once the war is over, the caves get open to the public. And Marcel and Jacques become like the first tour guides because they know the most about the caves. Wow. So, so wait, so they were tour guides, but like they didn't have any information about these paintings. So what were they doing? They were just like, here's the bull section. We've got some horses over here. We have a mysterious man with a bird head. And they're like, oh, what is that? I don't know. I don't you know. figure it out. What do you think? <laughs> How old are they? Oh, they're old. <laughs> really super old. Pretty old. The next 15 years, um, the art on the walls would deteriorate more than it had in the 15,000. That's what people were yeah. yeah. People are gross. People yeah. breathing on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's the carbon Licking dioxide. Rubbing their hands on apparently it. Apparently the worst problem was the fungus that people tracked in on their shoes. Oh. Yeah, that was getting all over everything. So 
15 years, these things are looking like really faded and awful. Just oh, think how, man. that's how awful humans are. Like, what a bummer. <laughs> <laughs> we just, we did, they weren't, they, not like they were scratching it and like, yeah. you know, taking pictures and they, they were just like, they were just there and breathing. Just breathing. <laughs> so they had to shut, after 15 years, Marcel and Jacques, Jacques were Jacques. out of a job. <laughs> they were out of a job because they shut the caves down. Well, uh, how old were they by then? So like, they, they started off as teenagers, 15 years later. They're like 30, 30s, 30s, 40s. And like, the only experience they have in life is tour guides for the full <laughs> section. No and Nazi panties. fighters. <laughs> <laughs> because of the major fungus problems are shut down, they put in an air conditioning system, which I also find incredible because the, the cave preserved itself naturally for 15,000 years, and we had to put in a uh, air conditioning system. Isn't that the perfect explanation of humanity? Yeah. <laughs> they had a really long extension cord <laughs> to do that. So if you go there today, the French built... We're going to have to. They're going to have to? Yeah. The French built an exact perfect replica a couple hundred yards away huh. that they call uh, Lascaux 2. Which and is hilarious. Creative. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess it'd be Lascaux 2. Yeah, so you can go there and you look at this you know, cave paintings from 20 years ago. <laughs> I love that it's right next to, that's like if you yeah. took an Empire State Building and you built it right next to the other one, like, you can go in this one. You can't go in that one. But this Don't one. touch it. Don't touch it. <laughs> the last I could find about them was in 1986, all four of the boys met up again at the caves. Reunion go. episode! Oh, yeah. who hosted? Hmm. It's like the end of League of Their Own where they all, all come, come together. Back, and they back. bring their grandchildren. Yeah. Oh, it has a happy ending. Yeah, except, you know, uh, Robot wasn't there. Oh. <laughs>